guys, it's Morgan and today I'm going to be doing a room tour video. Um, it's my senior year of college and I'm really excited about this video. I love the way that my room turned out. I had this vision in my head of what I wanted my room to look like and I pretty much executed it exactly how I wanted and I'm excited. I finally just added my last finishing touches and now that it's like spooky season and it's October I can finally have like my pumpkins out and things like that and honestly I'm just gonna keep them up all year round because that's how I feel same with Christmas lights but um what is seasonal decor anyway so I'm excited to show you guys and I'm just gonna be kind of vaguely going through where I got some of my decor items how I you know made the most of my space a little bit about my house um that I'm living in this year. It is five girls and we're in a pretty old house. This was built in 1900. So this house has definitely been lived in and I can do a full house tour if that would be interesting. But for today, I'm just gonna be doing the room tour because I think that my room is my favorite in the house. And um, luckily it's been a little bit renovated. We got brand new carpet right before we came in. Um, our landlord is great and she kind of painted over any problem areas on the wall um, but it definitely still is an older place so without further ado um, let's get to the tour okay so you walk into my room and here's a little bit of an overview there's me <laughs> So, not the largest space, but definitely not the smallest. Okay, so right when you walk in the door, the first thing that you see is kind of this little area right by my side window. Um, I have this nice little table that I got from Ikea that my brother built me, um, and I keep that right underneath the window. And there's my nice view of the neighbors. Um, so in here, I just kind of keep, um, my hair heat tools on the bottom shelf. So my curling wands and my straightener, um, any little bag of recent products that I've gotten. There's my Sephora. Um, on the second shelf, I keep this fake plant. Um, I have a mix of fake and real plants in this room. I have this candle that I got, um, I believe at Anthropology. It smells like coconut. And then I just keep my skincare and hair care things right here, as well as my little Bose Bluetooth speaker, some tissues, and of course my air conditioning unit. And moving over to my desk, we have this lovely rust colored desk that I actually got from a neighbor. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and I love this desk. And I have my yoga mat there as well and computer charger on the floor. Um, but on top of my desk, I really just keep the things that I need to get ready for the day. I don't often do homework here. It's usually for more of vanity purposes. I do my makeup and have my jewelry here. So some little decor items. I have a pumpkin, um, a little succulent, my very favorite perfume, which is this replica perfume. It is Lazy Sunday Morning. Absolutely love it. It's lasted me forever. I've had this and used it every day for over a year and I've barely made a dent. Um, I keep my makeup in this Vera Bradley little box um, to keep it kind of out of sight. I have my little makeup mirror, hi, <laughs> and my hair clips that I keep on there, as well as my makeup brushes, some other various products like chapsticks and more perfume back there. This is my jewelry box, so I keep all of my earrings up there and necklaces are very strewn about in here. I need to come up with a better system for that. Um, I also keep my rings and everyday bracelets in this little palm. I also am really into using wine bottles as decorative uh, <laughs> pieces and you'll see that in a little bit but here I just have a wine bottle with a fake flower. Um, then I have this full-length mirror where I also keep um, my silk robe. It was my mom's old Victoria's Secret robe um, that I use pretty much all the time. And above it, I have some decorative little prints that my dad has gotten me at art museums over the years, some of my favorites, um, Van Gogh and Monet, um, Cezanne, and etc. Moving on to the bed, um, my favorite part. I keep my bags kind of on the side of the bed. Um, 
on the bars right there I have my Longchamp bag that I got in Paris I have my backpack that I don't know how to say the name of the brand over there um my bedding is from Urban Outfitters. It's just a queen full-size quilt. I got it really on sale, but I love it. It's kind of spooky, and um, I believe this throw is from Home Goods. So I keep my laptop and phone there. Um, the pillows are from Pottery Barn, and the bed itself is also from my neighbor. I know that's not super helpful, but it was originally from Ikea. I keep a tapestry up here, actually two tapestries, but the first one is from Urban Outfitters. Um, I keep some nice string lights around it. I have those put up with push pins, and they are pretty much my only source of lighting that I use. I don't use the overhead light. I think it's artificial, so I prefer natural light and kind of dim, more mood lighting. Um, I also have this, which also is from Urban Outfitters, this tapestry, The Fate is in Your Hands. It's kind of a little palm reader kind of guide. Um, I also have some Christmas lights framing that as well. Over here, I have kind of my nightstand area where I also keep some more decorative items. I have this Trader Joe's um, vanilla pumpkin candle that I have burnt through in literally a week. I absolutely love it, totally recommend it. It was super cheap as well. Um, I have a few can or <laughs> a few pumpkins that I also got at Trader Joe's over the weekend. Um, I keep some little books. They're good conversation pieces. I have this little palm reading guide that I got at Urban and these fortune telling books. So there's a book of names, birthday book, book of dreams. I got those at Anthropology years ago. Um, they are very fun to kind of when you have a guest over, be like, oh, let's look up your, you know, things in my books, and it's interesting. I also have a fake plant back there, but this guy is real. So it's called a Pilea plant. Uh, it's called the Pass It On plant, so you're supposed to grow, cut, plant, and share. So basically, you can take any of these little guys right there, give it to a friend, and replant it, and it'll continue to grow. So honestly, whether or not I do that, I'm probably going to do it and make more plants for myself. <laughs> so I also keep um, on this really cute little kind of tree stump that I got at Home Goods. Um, I also keep this candle which is broken but you know for decoration i have um this oil diffuser as well as a few of my other favorite kind of books in my kindle i keep that there as well right here i keep this mirror um another full length mirror and some of my friends have written me little notes on there so it's just a feel good piece um that i really enjoy i keep my umbrella hanging on there and on this hook, before we get to the closet, I keep kind of my everyday items. I have like this jean jacket with all my pins that I love, as well as this little New York Botanical Gardens hat. This brings me to the closet, and I am super grateful that I have a closet in this house. As I said, it's a very old house, so um, two of my roommates actually don't really have closets. But I love this little built-in closet and I feel like I made the best of the space given. So I keep another one of my robes hanging on this hook. Well, it's not really a hook, but um, you could put a bar attention rod and have a curtain. But I kind of think it looks cool <laughs> um, with all of my sh clothes showing. So basically, but I won't do a full closet tour right now. Um, also, this is pretty realistic. I didn't organize anything in my room before this um, video started except for really like lighting a candle for ambiance and turning on my lights um, but I keep kind of generally my cl or uh, I keep my sweaters over here pants and hanging shirts shoes dresses um, I have a few jackets kind of behind there and then um, pajamas t-shirts lighter sweaters and then I guess socks and um, underwear and things like that so this little section here is a fun one. Um, basically, the only decoration I have is I have this little Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters tote bag um, that I just actually put up that I found from last year as a decorative piece. And I also, again, have some wine bottles with fake flowers there. But this right here is my barista station, which in my room is pretty extra. But I have some of my favorite mugs. Um, that's where I keep my little Alexa, but I'm not gonna say it. Oh, there she goes. Shot glasses, things like that. And then this is where I make my coffee every day. This is the holy grail of my room. Um, 
So this is a Breville, Brevi, I don't know how to say that, Nespresso machine. Um, so basically, you take a little Nespresso pod. I use Highline Coffee. Um, I believe in one of my past videos I showed you how I do this. Um, it might have been like a, what I eat in a day. But I like the Greenwich Village Dark. Um, Highline brand, they make... Um, Nespresso pods as well as regular coffee, but what I like is that they grind it fresh for you um, Right before they ship it out to you because I find that Nespresso kind of espresso pods instant Things like that um, can taste a little stale to me and then I also keep extras there So this is my mini fridge. Um, it's very very Empty right now. I usually keep any sort of alcohol I have. Um, I am 21 and I also keep my non dairy milk in here. So I use Oatly oat milk. Sometimes I use the original, sometimes I use the low fat. It all depends. I also have a few beers and a little bit of wine left in there. So I keep that here for safekeeping. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just a quick little outro. If you have any questions about things that I didn't mention about where I got certain things, um, leave them down below and I'd be happy to answer them. So thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.